let's talk about Asylum 626. Okay. Or obscure horror games right here. Asylum 626 is the sequel to Hotel 626, and this one is even more ambitious. And yes, this was also a game to promote two new Doritos flavors that they're bringing back. Mm -hmm. Before playing, the game actually has you log into your Facebook profile, and it uses it in a pretty interesting way. The game will show you an image of two people tied up with two photos next to each person. And each of these photos are pictures of your friends from your Facebook profile. You basically have to choose which friend gets tortured in the asylum. There's also What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? If you guys are brand new here to the channel, let me break it down, man. Let me tell you what you got, what we do here, man. We break down scary and creepy videos on the net, on the web, from YouTube videos to TikTok videos, IG reels, Facebook, anything weird, usual, and unexplained you can find right here on this channel. Just want to thank my supporters, man, who's tuning into the channel, watching the video entirely, man. Hit that post notification bell so you always get notified and hitting that like button each and every single video I drop. Greatly appreciate the support, Seekers. Found this video for you guys today, man. Let's do what we do best, Seekers. <laughs> Let's seek the truth. Accidentally knocking on the wrong door and then being murdered because of it. Well, Ooh. that's what happened to 56 year old Maria Koto after visiting a client at an apartment building in Westchester. Maria was a caseworker for the county's Department of Social Services and was conducting home visits when she accidentally knocked on 31 year old Hasim Jenkins' front door. When he answered the door, instead of directing Maria to the correct apartment, he punched her in the face. Maria tried running from him, but he chased her into a neighbor's apartment and he continued continued to kick her in the head with a pair of heavy boots. Somehow, while this was all going on, she managed to call 911, but when police arrived, Hasim claimed that Maria tried to stab him and that's why he beat her. But that never happened. She only knocked on his door because she thought that was her client's home. This poor lady suffered severe brain bleeding, brain swelling, and multiple facial fractures. She was placed on a ventilator, but unfortunately, she passed away a month later. When Hasim was arrested, Maria's phone was found in his pocket and now he's facing a long list of charges including second degree murder and something her family said which is so sad is that this all happened the year before maria planned to retire if you ever feel like someone's watching you they Insane. probably are this my friends is the dark watchers click the plus drop a like tag a friend or they might find you it is said that the dark watchers faces have never been seen before they make no noise and have never talked to anybody but as soon as they have you in their sights you're done for my question to you guys is would you still go outside the dark watchers hell no I'm the most vigilant. This incestuous family took the lives of over 1,000 people. This is the true story of Wrong Turn. In the 16th century, a man named Sonny Bean decided to run away with his girlfriend to the shores of Galloway County in Scotland, mm. where he began living in a cave, surviving by stealing food and belongings from passing tourists. Sonny Bean and his wife had children with whom they committed incest. This family began to grow. As they all had relationships with each other, Sonny Bean's clan grew to 48 people, and what they stole was no longer enough to eat. The Bean family began to take the lives of people who passed near their cave, mm. and then eat them. For 25 years, this family survived doing this savage activity, until one day a couple was attacked by the Bean family. But the man managed to defend himself with a gun, but his mm. wife did not survive. The man had discovered the cave of the Bean clan, so he decided to report it to the authorities. After that, the soldiers of the King of Scotland went to the cave where they captured the whole family, and then they were condemned to be burned at the stake. Russ McCaney from McCaney Manor, one of America's most infamous haunted house attractions, was just arrested. So if you don't know Russ McCaney, this is a long, dark rabbit hole. Basically, Talk he about runs it. an attraction called McCaney Manor. This is run on his property, out of his house. And it has been billed as the most extreme horror experience you can possibly put yourself through. Basically, mm. when you sign up for this, you sign your life away. Inside of this attraction where you go on your own personal tour, they abuse people. They subject them to horrific mental torture. They force them to eat things, injure them, and do all sorts of just horrific stuff. Not for me. So for years, people have been questioning how this whole thing is legal. Because it really does sit on the very edge of what's legal and what's illegal when it comes to physical abuse and harm. But just a few days ago, Russ McCamey, the guy that owns and operates this place, was arrested. But it wasn't for charges based on his haunted house attraction. Whoa. He has actually been charged with second degree attempted murder, rape, and domestic assault. These charges are coming from Russ's ex-girlfriend, who 
who's claiming that he tried to kill her on multiple occasions. And the arrest affidavit even states that at one point Russ allegedly strangled her out of consciousness. And on Friday, July 19th, the police said that Russ had raped his girlfriend and strangled her again, which would be the second time that he did so. So we're going to see how this case plays out. I will keep y'all updated. But this is shocking news. I mean, I've followed this story for almost 10 years now. I've always mm-hmm. thought what he was doing was extremely bizarre and disturbing, especially the fact that he films all of these tortures, these legal tortures, and sells them to people online which is just an even more disturbing element to me that there are people out there that purchase this stuff and probably get off on it. But yeah, what do you think about the Manor? Manor? Let me know in the comment section below. They need to shut that place down, bro. I don't sound like a freaking haunted house. That just sounds like a damn torture chamber. And he's selling those videos online to make them profit. The signs are all right there. Just have to pay attention. at it call them when we see it creepiest home camera footage in 2017 a mother in billings montana woke up in the middle of the night to a notification on her phone Hmm. her phone was sent to a baby monitor she had set up in her infant daughter's room On this night, upon being alerted, she opened the app expecting to see her daughter awake in the crib. But instead, she saw this. A man she didn't know is seen crouched down in the room. She saw this and ran to the room to retrieve her daughter and run out the house. She didn't see anyone in the room, but wasn't exactly looking. When she called the cops, they arrived and conducted a search of the home, but didn't find anything. A very odd detail is that it was found that nothing but the remote to a dog shot collar was stolen from the house. Who this man is and how he got in the house is still unknown. So someone was definitely there. This is a scary story about the mistake. A girl named Kelly was on a business trip for three days. And she was so excited to see her husband and kid. But when she got home, the only one that was waiting for her was her kid. Kelly then asked, where's daddy? And her kid then said, upstairs with a girl. Kelly immediately got a pit in her stomach and walked up the stairs slowly Mm. and then opened their bedroom door and saw her husband in there with another girl. Kelly started to scream and cry and her husband tried to explain himself, but Kelly wasn't listening at all. And in a pit of rage, Kelly went down to the kitchen and grabbed a knife. She then went back into the room and stabbed her husband countless times. The other woman in the room was shocked and completely lost for words. Kelly then pointed the knife at her and said, you're next. But then the woman said, wait, he wasn't cheating on you. He thought you weren't going to be home till tomorrow, and I'm a party planner. And he hired me to set up and throw a party for you. The woman then showed Kelly the idea her husband had. Kelly then dropped the knife and couldn't believe what she just did. Kelly then went downstairs, grabbed her kid, and left. And to this day, nobody has ever seen Kelly or her kid again. Is that a true story? There it is. Squirt blood from their eyes. The Devil's Bible is a rule book. If the sun exploded, you would not know about it for eight minutes. Twenty ah. percent of children report hearing voices. Scary facts you wish you had. Okay. This is a shack called the Devil's Toy Box in Louisiana, and for some reason, people who go in lose their minds. You know the tingly feeling you get when you eat a pineapple? Well, that's because the pineapple is eating you. It has an enzyme called bromelain, and that enzyme eats meat, which you're made of. I'm gonna stick the water. No one can what? comment on this video and get zero likes. Sharks have been around for 420 million years, meaning they have survived all four big mass extinctions, making them older than dinosaurs, Mount Everest, and even some trees on this planet. Yet we could potentially see them go extinct in our lifetime. The person who hmm. invented homework came up with the idea as a punishment for his students. Now you can check if your phone activity is being monitored. Just click on share, slide all the way to the end, click more, and if any apps appear before your contacts, you should delete it immediately. This is a photo of Lyndon B. Johnson, in it he's being sworn as president, just two hours after JFK was unalived. And the woman he's staying next to is Jackie Kennedy, who still had her husband's blood on her shirt. Lyndon B. Johnson turned to his friend, Albert Thompson, while Albert smirked and winked back. The photographer Mm -hmm. who captured the picture called the photo completely sinister. Doja Cat scares me. Studies show that people who like and follow me get smarter every day. 
that thing would blow my mind, man, about eating pineapples. I know, like, a couple of y'all had that feeling, you know, when you eat pineapples, you feel something on your tongue. I was like, what was, I've always wanted to know, like, why did that happen after eating a couple of pieces of pineapple? And we know, the pineapple was eating me back, bro. <laughs> Learned some wild facts today, man. Stuff from back now, back in the day. Oh, what the hell? What is that a skinwalker or something? We definitely heard that. In the movie It, when Ben is reading about Derry's past in the library, the elder librarian can be seen in the background turning towards him and staring at him with a deeply unsettling grin. She remains out of focus the whole time, and the movie never highlights her creepy behavior. In the movie Hereditary, when Peter wakes up in the darkened and eerily silent house, you can spot his possessed mom hovering in the corner of the ceiling and staring at him. When he turns towards the corner she is at, she is then seen crawling away in the other direction without making a sound. In the movie Insidious, Renee spots a little ghost boy through the window dancing to tiptoe through the tulips but the ghost can actually be seen before renee spots him dancing right in this scene when she tosses clothes in the laundry hamper you can see the boy standing just to her left and facing the wall mm. hey, much long ways, if you didn't quite get it let me help you movie centers entirely around the book of revelation also known as the book of the apocalypse and throughout the movie michael monroe's character repeats a chapter of the book the dragon stood on the shore of the sea and i saw a beast coming out of the sea it had ten horns and seven heads with ten crowns on its horns and on each head a blasphemous name. The unholy Ooh. trinity is made up of three main characters. The dragon, the beast of the sea, and the beast of the earth. This makes up a triangle, which we see Harper draw in the film, but also in the book of Revelation, we learn that the devil's number is 666, which is why the birthday of the livings happened within six days of the kids' birthdays. The dragon, also known as the serpent, is Satan, and this is why we see flashes of snakes throughout the film. The beast of the sea is also known as the Antichrist, which is long legs. The beast of the earth is also known as the false prophet, which is Harper's mom. The Antichrist needed help from the false prophet to spread his message, which is what we see in the movie where long legs needed roots help to spread the mm. The message. In the book of Revelation, it states that the false prophet is allowed to give breath to the image of the beast, the image of the beast being the dolls. And the quote continues to say, so that the image of the beast can even speak and might cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain. This is why the dolls have the little silver ball in their head because it holds parts of the Antichrist in them, and the dolls and the ball are able to speak to the families. And if they didn't worship the beast, then they'd be. Since we learned that Harper's doll is still alive and holding the Antichrist in it, this is why Harper has somewhat of that sixth sense throughout the film when she's being drawn to long legs and why she hears like whispering throughout the movie because it's still able to speak to her. And at the end of the movie, Ooh. you see that Harper didn't get rid of the image of the beast, so we can just say that the Antichrist is still somewhat alive and well, and at the end, maybe this is setting up a possible sequel. Top five countries okay. with the longest school days. Australia, 6.5 hours. Ooh. France, 8 hours. South Korea, 8 hours. Kenya, 8 hours. China, 9.5 hours. Could you guys imagine, man, being in school for 9.5 hours, bro? <laughs> I remember when I was complaining about the freaking high school hours, man, but I couldn't survive 9.5 hours in school, bro. I could. Last words of Satanists before dying. Alistair Crowley. 
I am perplexed. Mm -hmm. Anton Levy. Oh my, oh my, what have I done? There is something very wrong. David Hume. I am in flames. Voltaire. I am abandoned by God and man. I will give you half of what I am worth if you give me six months of life. Sir Francis Newport. Oh, that fire. Oh, the insufferable pangs of hell. Thomas Paine. Stay with me. For God's sake, I can't bear to be left alone. Oh, Lord, help me. Ooh. This is a scary story about Do Not Open. Creepy last there words. There was an 18-year-old girl named Mia who was in her first year of college. She lived alone in an apartment near her university. One night when she was doing the dishes, she got a call from her friend Pete. She picked it up and he said, I'm bored, I want to hang out. Mia said, yeah, me too, come over. Pete then said he'll be over in 15 to 20 minutes. She then hung up and decided to take a shower. Mia was in the middle of shampooing her hair when she suddenly heard a loud banging on the door. She stuck her head out of the shower and said, come in, it's open. But a few minutes later, the banging on the door started again. Mm. She then stuck her head out of the shower again and said, come in, it's not locked. Just then, her phone started to ring, and it was Peter. Mia said, I'm in the shower, why don't you stop knocking and just come in? Peter's voice sounded extremely scared, and he said, do not open the door. Mia said, why not? I'm outside your apartment building, whispered Peter. And I just saw a strange woman coming up the stairs to your apartment, covered in blood and holding a knife. And she was smiling weirdly and didn't look human at all. The term saved by the bell is a harmless way to describe that you barely made it through a situation. Let's talk about the terrifying history of the term saved by the bell. Mm. Epilepsy is a medical condition where an individual experiences an uncontrolled amount of muscle rigidity and unresponsiveness. What's terrifying is family members would think that their loved one had passed and put them in a coffin. However, they were still very much alive. After having multiple people buried alive, they invented a casket where a bell was hooked on the inside of it. Once the individual who was buried in a coffin snapped out of their coma-like state, they could ring the bell and pray that someone was nearby to hear them. Saved by the bell. Now that we've heard that before. Top five countries with the most civilian firearms. By estimated number in possession. Russia, 17.6 million. Pakistan, 43.9 million. China, 49.7 million. India, 71.1 million. United States, 393.3 million. That's Serial a big killer number. facts that are absolutely shocking. BD.3. In the John Wayne Gacy case, there were so many bodies crammed underneath the house that the bodies melted together. And the bones had to be sorted for more than two years to put together the full skeletons. Pee Wee Gaskins, the most prolific serial killer in South Carolina, drove around in a hearse with a bumper sticker that read, I hold dead people. He told people that he needed it to take the bodies of people he killed to his private cemetery. Jeffrey Dahmer didn't eat people with tattoos because he said the eat made the flesh taste weird. Weird facts, man. The first one was chilling, bro. But if you can melt it together, man. Whew. The most dangerous dates in 2024. Talk about it. Rainbow Sky, January 6th. Very cold day, negative 99 degrees. Damn. January 17th. Huge moon, January 29th. Blue moon, February 11th. Okay. Red, yellow moon, February 25th. Lunar eclipse, March 10th. Mm. Spring thunderstorm, March 22nd. Starfall, April 5th. Bloody rain, April 16th. Star rain, May 4th. Blood moon, May 14th. Super moon, May 26th. Abnormal heat, 45 degrees, June 7th. Severe thunderstorm, June 15th. Shower from June 19th to June 22nd. Yo, 
Jello Moon, June 29th. Hmm. Terrible thunderstorm, July 3rd. Severe thunderstorm with hail on July 11th. This natural disasters? This horror game used your webcam and social media profiles in order to create your own personal horror. But it no longer exists. Let's talk about Asylum 626. Okay. More obscure horror games right here. Asylum 626 is the sequel to Hotel 626, and this one is even more ambitious. And yes, this was also a game to promote two new Doritos flavors that they were bringing back. Mm -hmm. Before playing, the game actually has you log into your Facebook profile, and it uses it in a pretty interesting way. The game will show you an image of two people tied up with two photos next to each person. And each of these photos are pictures of your friends from your Facebook profile. You basically have to choose which friend gets tortured in the asylum. There's also a jump scare scene where you have to look deep in a dirty sink and it will actually show your webcam image as the reflection in the water. The game would also make an actual post on your Facebook page alerting which friend you chose to be tortured in the asylum. It was actually pretty interesting. It's really a shame we can't play Hotel 626 or Asylum 626 anymore. Let's talk about the- What the hell happened to those games, man? Why did they just suddenly disappear off the net? Never used to promote Doritos. Very weird, man. Lore behind a disturbing god from fear and hunger. The Tormented One. More unique horror games right here. Before he was one of the new gods, the Tormented One used to be a man. In fact, he was a poet who had a great reverence for the arts. However, he believed that truly beautiful art could only be created through pain and suffering. And he kept those same ideals when he completed his journey to become a god. He kept his body in a state of constant torture on purpose. However, he did not only apply these ideals to himself. This is the Red Man. And he's an example of a creature that was tortured by the Tormented One for over 100 years straight. In game, he's barely able to crawl towards you by the time you see him. Quick fact, the rings you see around the Tormented One are actually based on some rings that you see in the final boss room of Silent Hill 4. Horses oh, are okay. much bigger than people, so naturally they just have a lot more blood than we do. So whenever horses get nosebleeds, it ends up looking like a whole crime scene. So one of the only Jeez. reasons we know how many people died in the Titanic are the shoes that are laying on the ocean floor. Some are pretty cool, others are kind of depressing. And the reason we count the shoes instead of, you know, Bones is because when the Titanic hit the floor, all the corpses kind of just scattered and the fish ate the corpses, but the fish couldn't eat the shoes. Mm. If you ever decide to go climb Mount Everest, I hope that you remember that the crevices in the ice are V-shaped, which means if you were to ever accidentally fall down one, you more than likely wouldn't die instantly. Your body Ooh. would melt the ice around you, causing you to slip further and further down until your chest couldn't expand enough to breathe. Oh, so make man. sure you bring a friend just as crazy as you to help get you out. If the bone okay. of the leg breaks and shatters completely, here's how doctors fix it. Let's find out. First, the person is anesthetized to prevent pain. The doctor makes an incision over the leg at the location of the break, then extracts the entire bone. Holes are made above the knee and on the side of the leg. And then an intramedullary rod is inserted between the bones in such a manner. Mm. Subsequently, this intramedullary rod is fixed with metal in a way that it does not move. Afterward, a hole is made above the bone and a wire is threaded through it. Then a tourniquet circular friction lathe machine is attached over the leg, and these wires are connected to it. This machine has two bolts on the sides, which function like buttons. When these are turned, the machine starts to separate the bones. Thus, bones that have been misaligned and entangled due to the injury are separated and straightened with the help of this machine. Ooh. And within a few days, the bone starts to heal. <laughs> Weird process, man. I can't even imagine having to go through that. Rod in your leg. Big Texan brothers. These are scary cartoon troops that would terrify you. Texan? Part 10. Okay, so Hello Kitty was created back in the 1970s by a Chinese woman whose daughter had cancer. The doctors told the mother there was nothing she could do, and her daughter will die. The mother then went to every church and prayed for her daughter, but none of it worked. The mother then became very desperate and turned to devil worshipping and satanic rituals. She then made a pact with the devil himself. But if the devil cured her daughter's cancer, he wanted one thing in return. He wanted her to create a cartoon character to appeal to children all over the world. 
and to trick people into worshiping the devil. And when her daughter recovered from cancer, she kept her promise and created Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is no melt because her daughter had melt cancer. Her pointy ears represent the devil's horns. The word kitty means demon in Chinese, so Hello Kitty actually means Hello Demon. The more you know, man. She made a deal with the devil. Strange insectoid creatures were scattered across large segments of Chicago's oldest sewer system. They were forming true nests of creatures that had never seen the light of day, feeding on waste, moisture, and in ways that have not been possible to determine. Hmm. Is this an edit, y'all? I think we're gonna have to go with edit. You definitely would have seen something, right? Heard about it. The following records revealed the presence of hyperdeveloped creatures inhabiting the tunnels. Mm. Contact with these creatures was mostly through probes with cameras, although on some occasions. So about I have to go cap on that one. Gosh, is that why I've been seeing like every single time when I go on X or Twitter, I just be seeing UK trending, or I'll be seeing like freaking you know, must tweet about Twitter or X. How how they said how they actually like, they're trying to ban um uh, they, no they said they're trying to actually trying to arrest people who post I guess stuff like on Twitter or X. I guess it was misinformation. Maybe this is where it came from. Good morning, you know, seekers. We was learning out here today watching these clips. If you guys made it with me to the end, you're a true seeker seeking the truth. I really appreciate the support, man. Like I said, guys, make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so you always get notified when I upload a video. Also, hit that like button down below, man. It's going to help us push us in the algorithm. Guys, going to catch you in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace, YouTube. What's up, seekers? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing all right, man. If you guys are brand new to the channel, you guys don't know what we do. We break down scary and creepy videos on the net, on the web, man. From YouTube videos to TikTok videos, IG videos, Facebook, man. Anything weird, usual, and unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. 
as you guys can see man we're gonna be checking out some creepy um tiktok videos for you guys today man doing what we do best let's seek the truth so are we about to witness and hopefully live through a, a world ending geomagnetic storm hmm. and will it be a repeat of the carrington event welcome back to the heart Tell show i'm your host pharaoh and in this video we're going to talk about how this current geomagnetic storm could have bad implications all right now let me start out that this will most likely just be a loss of phone signal and pretty lights in the sky event but let's get into why this can be something scary hmm. so yesterday thursday the 9th and today friday the 10th there have been many many corona mass ejections from the sun noah released a statement and a warning stating at least two x class which are the largest solar flares Ooh. were observed releasing from two massive sunspots on the sun along with several in class now these are cmes or corona mass ejections hmm. and there was another x class release this morning friday the 10th that cme from this morning is supposed to catch up with the other five from yesterday right as they impact earth it's all scary stuff and what has people up in arms and concerned about this is the last time something like this happened, the Carrington event occurred. The Carrington event was known as the most destructive CME, and it happened on September 1st, 1859. It was so intense that it created such bright auroras in the sky, you know, the northern lights, mm -hmm. that some gold miners in the Rockies woke up thinking that it was morning. But the reason why this event was documented and is such a callback point to future destructive potential of the sun is the fact that the potential EMP that was created by the sun during this Ooh. event fried all the telegraph poles and systems. Now, at that time, that was the means of communication across long distance and was also really all the electronics that the world really had. So the concern today in today's world is if that kind of event occurred again, which is the concern with this current you know, geostorm mm -hmm. with how heavily the, our modern world is dependent on electronics for communication, for transportation, for food, for survival, then we would be thrown back thousands of years as a humankind because we depend so heavily on electronics. So, yeah, but most likely mm. we'll just lose phone signal and have pretty lights in the sky. Good times. Friday. What do you guys think, man? That just that video, man, just shows us how much we're dependent on, man, technology. And if it just can get taken out like that, we all discombobulated. We're all over the place, man. I'm not surprised this geostorm, like these facts, hasn't been on the news or something, so people could prepare. Wonder why that is. Eight o'clock Eastern time. It is an important update. The geomagnetic storm has just reached category five, a G five, with a K index of nine. It's the strongest geomagnetic storm in 20 years Damn. what you're looking at right here if i get up out of the way is the actual auroral oval right now it's mm. all the way down to the central united states you can see it right there and that's almost dead down as a matter of fact as far south as st louis and washington dc i mean really amazing now it has to be clear and of course it's getting dark right now but definitely head away from city lights look to the north tonight this could be one of your few chances in your lifetime at these latitudes to be able to see the aurora borealis but get to dark mm. skies this map actually confirms what we saw just a moment ago this is typically what you'd see down to the red line is where you'd be able to see an Ooh. aurora when you have a g5 storm like this which extends from oh around norfolk virginia westward to northern california and uh you could see it just amazingly how far south it is compared to normal i mean if it's just a regular uh geomagnetic storm would be all the way up here in the northern tier of the united states to northern maine and it's nowhere like that so mm. definitely try to get out tonight look to the north yeah there will be some communication problems and things like that but let's concentrate on the aurora right now because that's the fun part of these geomagnetic storms good luck tonight a storm, really? A solar storm destroyed
break Earth since 2005 is on its way tonight. Because of that, uh, NOAA did issue a geomagnetic storm watch mm. for the planet Earth. This is due to a G4 class solar storm, uh, which is severe on the scale. Now, some of the effects that we might see from this tonight are possible voltage issues to the power grid up north. Uh, disruptions are possible to satellite navigation as well. And auroras could be possible all the way down to the Gulf Coast tonight, Damn. especially on the horizon. If you want to have a good shot at seeing this, you are going to have to get out of areas of light pollution and also use a camera as well to mm. see it best on the horizon. Now, if you really want to see it tonight, you're going to have to go north up into places like South Dakota, Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan, and especially up into Canada. Really? If you guys haven't heard yet, there's signal issues going on. There's a geostorm affecting everybody. It uh, doesn't matter if you're on RTK WAS, Trimble, Egg Leader, Deer. Um, everything can get knocked out. Mm. A couple of geese here. Even a geese getting affected. Uh, if you guys have questions, you can call us, but I'm sure everyone's being affected, so I just wanted to let everybody know. The thing that's good to me is, man, we haven't been seeing this, like, on the news and stuff, man. It's, like, the geomagnetic storms and stuff. Everybody just, yeah, they're focusing on the lights, but they just, like, kind of ignoring the possibilities of what could happen. That's concerning. The geomagnetic storms. When I looked up, I'm about to say, I looked up in the sky at night, and I ain't seen no aurora lights. And that's a rare opportunity. Maybe you guys saw, cause we we all over the place now. I've been seen from the comments. So tell me if you guys seen, if you guys been affected by this G5 um storm. Oh. Another one. additional geomagnetic activity about midday today, May 12th. And um, so they are forecasting that it'll be somewhere between the G4 to G5 severe status. Um, so be on the lookout, guys. This geo storm, man. It's affecting it. It's affecting everything, bro. That's why I'm top 10 with the TikToks, man. I would have never known. But has it been on the news or something, man? I'm glad for our community seekers. It keeps me tapped in. They had a machine that was used to control the weather. Then somehow the machine got hacked and it started malfunctioning. And it started controlling the weather on its own wheel. And it started killing people. So they had to destroy the machine because they had got hacked and started malfunctioning and being out of control. Hmm. That geo and there's a movie called Geostorm. Is that a sign? Is there any correlation between those two? Any similarities? Hey man, nowadays you never know that Geo Storm. Like I said, that was a movie that came out, and we guys been you know these videos. You've been seeing how these movies and stuff they're based off like true events. Sometimes even these fictional movies behind the scenes, man. Like every story, every movie, every piece of media, you see man, it comes from a true story somewhere around the world. What do you guys think? If you guys made it with me to the end, you guys are real ones supporting the channels. I really appreciate that, man. You're a true seeker. So, thank you, man. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to stay tapped in with the community with us, man, I'm following me all my social medias down below. I'm really trying to get my numbers up on there as well. So, I really appreciate the support just so we can, you know, stay in contact with each other and we can grow and we can share what we find together. You guys going to catch you in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace, seekers. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing all right, man. If you guys are brand new to the channel, what we do is we break down scary and creepy videos on the net, on the web, from YouTube videos to TikTok videos, Facebook, IG, anything weird, usual, and unexplained you can find right here on this channel. Just want to um, thank my supporters, man, who's tapping in with us, subscribing, hitting that post notification bell, man, hitting that like button, and you guys are really um, helping us. Push us in the algorithm, man. Right now, I know we're small, but 
we continue to grow, man, we're going to be up there. So continue to do that. We're on our way. Found this video for you guys today. Let's do what we do best. Let's seek the truth. Pulling facts that you wish you never knew. Okay. Part 21. This photo shows an eight-month-old Zhao Bao who is lucky to be alive because his mother stabbed him 90 times after he bit her while she was breastfeeding him. The world's scariest haunted okay. house, McCammy Manor, requires you to sign a 40-page waiver and undergo a physical and mental evaluation. Ooh. If you manage to make it through the house, you could win $20,000. Free money? But to this day, no one has ever made it through. The Ooh. little girl who voiced Ducky in The Land Before Time was shot to death by her father, who then committed suicide. Roman Emperor Nero had a boy castrated, dressed him up as a bride, and married him, all because the boy looked similar to his previous dead wife. A 46-year-old man found and attacked a 13-year-old boy because the kid was killing him too many times in a game of Call of Duty. What the hell, man? Come what on, be what better. What bombs actually mean? Put your hands together and analyze which line pattern you have. Number okay. one, if your left hand line is lower, this means you're independent and don't care what other people think of you. You keep your opinion to yourself, mm. which is why you'll become wise one day. Number two, if your left hand line is higher, it means you're a super adventurous person. You're extremely confident and don't need to rush into relationships. And you can become anything because you're super independent. Really? Number three, if your lines are the same, this means you're strong-minded and charming. You're gentle, sensitive, and care what other people think. Okay, see, guys, what line do you have? I'm number three. Mine's Matt, so they got some of those cards she has. But tell me down below, man. You guys, one, two, or three when it comes to the palm lines, bro. I'm definitely in the middle. So it's just the facts we learned today. Tap in with us. And oil? People have to be better, man. Plain and simple. Three facts that could save your life, part four. If you ever disturb a wasp's nest, don't run for the water. The wasps are so smart, they'll wait for you to resurface and then continue to sting you. If you're ever buried in an avalanche, you must spit. Your saliva will follow the gravity and you can dig the opposite way, making it easier to get out. Do you ever struggle in school, especially in math? All you have to do is take a picture of your math problem, and Gothmath shows you exactly step by step on how it got the answer and the answer itself. Just in case your teacher is extremely annoying with asking you to show your work. The link is in my bio and it's completely free. Yeah, I need to hit that up, man, if I ever have some child, some problems with math. That got me through a couple of rough times and some rough spots of math. I highly recommend it, man. See my, <laughs> see my husband on one or more occasion, bro, especially when it came to math. You all been there. Edit. We've been doing this for a minute, so we can definitely just call them out now when we see it. How rare is your body? Only 5% of people have blonde hair. And the most oh. common hair in the world is black. And only 7% of the world is capable of tickling themselves. And 25% of people automatically sneeze when they look up at the sun. And really? only 1% of people have vitiligo. This is a skin condition which allows areas to lose pigment, which causes them to become different colors. And 20% of people have one pupil bigger than the other. And 91.6% of people have a clockwise hair whirl. This boy mm. claimed he remembered his past life until his parents discovered he he wasn't lying. A Syrian boy named Arius was born with a particular red birthmark on his face. As soon as he could speak, he explained to his parents that he had already lived another life as a different man, claiming he was actually murdered with an axe by his own neighbor. Turns out, a man had actually gone missing in their village years earlier, and the neighbor was the prime suspect. So Arius and his parents went to the neighbor's house to find out the truth. When the neighbor opened the door, he turned white as a ghost, claiming he was innocent. But Arius demanded mm -hmm. the neighbor come with him, because he knew where his body was actually buried. Arius led them miles from the village to a specific spot under a tree, and they began digging. They found a skull that was cracked exactly where Arius' birthmark was. Everyone was shocked, and the neighbor was later arrested. That's a plain case of reincarnation. That's what it sounds like to me, man. That's my first time, I guess, seeing, like, full hardcore evidence of him. He knew exactly where he was at. He remembered. That's, that's like, all the freaking, um, yeah, sounds like reincarnation. What comes around, it's going to come back to you, man. You think you get away with something? The energy's going to come back and get you. You learning today, see,
the rarest human mutations that actually exist. About 25% of people have photic sneeze reflex, Ooh. which means they can sneeze just by looking up at the sun. And about 3% of the population have no odor at all. Now, 80% of people have lines that form an M on their palm. And many people believe this is a sign of good fortune. However, 4% of people have an X on their palm, which means they'll become great leaders. Most unusual places M. in the world. Located in Quebec, Canada, this forest has a pretty creepy atmosphere. It might be because the ground looks like it's moving, making it seem like Mother Earth is taking a deep breath. Ooh. This next one is actually terrifying. Located in Penang, Malaysia, this huge water tornado was getting extremely close to this apartment building. Ooh. Fortunately, it stopped right in front of the building because it ran out of water. And how about this one? It used to be a hiking area before it got flooded, so everything you see here used to be above water. Imagine being a fish and seeing this appear out of nowhere. That's like my first time seeing a water tornado. It was like that close to the building. That's actually scary. And it stopped because there was no more water so it can form. People have to be careful, man. These areas we're living in. Where's the sky? We know that's an edit. <laughs> if y'all see some edits, man, Here's call them out down below. That almost no human can do. Number one, this requires very flexible fingers and only 3% of people can do it. I can this do is it. known as the paralyzed finger trick and only 1% of people can do it. First, place your hand on the table and then bend your middle finger like that. Now try lifting your ring finger off the table. Number three, this is where you raise one eyebrow like this guy and only 5% of people can do it. Number four, this is where you make a V shape with your hand like this and only 3% of people can do it. Now comment which one you can do. One and one and three. I can't do the eyebrow like the rock. That's his signature, Creepy right? fact you didn't know about. This sound is just a cat meowing. Sadly, the cat died after the video of it meowing was recorded. Ooh. The owner slowed it down and made this an audio. If you don't believe me, speed it up. You've heard that audio a couple of times. Now we know that's a cat meowing. It's Be creepy. careful what you put in your body. In 2014, a couple returned to their home to find it trashed in baffling ways Ooh. there was lotion all over the door handles all of their shoes that had their soles ripped off of them and someone had dumped an entire can of paint all over the toilet really? despite the obvious break-in the police come and can't find any evidence of theft so they leave thinking the couple's not in danger anymore that night the couple hears scratching underneath their bed and what sounds like a crying animal not wanting to find out what it was, they leave and call the cops who come right back and start investigating the house. Smart. They make a startling discovery in their bedroom. Wedged underneath the couple's bed was this 90-pound tiny little woman carrying a huge butcher's knife and a hypodermic needle. As they're taking this crazy lady away in handcuffs, one of the officers comes over to the couple and is like, so she was high on meth and for at least two hours, she had been burrowing a hole in the underside of your mattress with that knife to get to you. Ooh. Disturbing body oh, facts good. that will ruin your day. When you get a kidney transplant, they actually leave your original kidney in your body and they place your third kidney in your pelvis. Whoa. And if you wake up because of a loud bang sound, you might actually have exploding head syndrome. It's not painful, but the sensation can be super terrifying. And according to brain surgeons, the brain is not solid at all. It's usually compared to the texture of melted butter. And during your lifetime, mm. you will produce enough saliva to fill up two Olympic-sized swimming pools. Damn, what Example, the hell? No humans can do, part not short. If you can, then you're bloody weird. This is where you raise one eyebrow like the rock. And only 5% of humans can actually do this. Can't, not me. this video if you can do it. I can't. This might be the most brutal way somebody has ever died, and whatever you do, don't look up the picture. I won't. Octavio de Silva was a 20-year-old soccer referee in Brazil, and on June 30th, 2013, he was refereeing a soccer game when he sent off a player named Josmir Santos Abreu, who was 31 years old. Okay. He refused to leave the field and began a fight with the referee. Abreu threw a punch which made Octavio draw a knife from his pocket and repeatedly stab Abreu. Ooh. Abreu died on the way to the hospital and when fans watching the game, including Abreu's family and friends, found out about his death, they invaded the field and stoned Octavio before decapitating him Ooh. and then ripping his limbs from his body with just their strength and no weapons and then put his head on a stick in the middle of the field. And what makes this worse is that a graphic video surfaced online shortly after the incident mm. showing medical personnel reassembling Octavio's body. The video and pictures are extremely disturbing and I don't recommend looking them up. The way his limbs looked after being ripped off is extremely unsettling to look at.
because you see strings of flesh, tissue, and bone because it wasn't cut off properly and mm. it was just ripped off. This case is absolutely awful, but why did Octavio pull out a knife when somebody just punched him? If he didn't stab Hosmi or Brayu to death, he would still be alive today. But just imagine being literally ripped limb from limb by an angry group of soccer fans, and there's nothing you can do as they pull your body apart. Ooh. One of you is going to end it's up dead. Crazy case. This is a chilling statement that friends of this couple made prior to a horrifying turn of events. On the 25th of March 2022, 24 year old OnlyFans model Abigail White killed her boyfriend. She stabbed Bradley Lewis through the heart with a kitchen knife when he told her he wanted to finish the relationship. When police arrived at the scene, she actually tried to tell them that he'd done this to himself, but she quickly confessed. She said that she'd never meant to hurt him. Abigail was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 18 years in prison. Shockingly, despite being in prison, she has been able to find a new boyfriend on the outside. And the people on the outside end, man, they called it. They said that the relationship was going to end bad. Like sometimes, man, we got to heed people's advice because they can see things that we just can't see. We think they're overreacting, but she hit the nail on the head. And look what happened. Another crazy case. I thought that I had seen everything when it came to cults, but you are not prepared for what this cult believes. So HBO just released this documentary about the Love is One cult, which was run by this woman, Amy Carlson, who calls herself Mother God. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but she believed she was controlled by the spirit of Robin Williams and this like yassified version of St. Germain. Also, I cover a lot of dark stuff on this page that you should follow along. She also said she could channel and get advice from this like galactic federation of dead celebrities. There's like Mr. Rogers, Carrie Fisher, Steve Irwin. What? Donald Trump, who is not dead, but Robin Williams is at the top, and so the cult believes they're getting a lot of advice through Robin Williams. So they'll say things like, "So one of the beliefs okay. that this cult has is that one day Robin Williams is going to arrive in a spaceship to take Mother God away, so that she can spiritually ascend." He also told her that she can only be 103 pounds to get on the spaceship, which is why she's trying to lose a lot of weight. Eventually, Mother God starts getting sicker and sicker, and also bluer and bluer because of the colloidal silver supplements they won't stop giving her. And everyone thinks, oh my god, Robin Williams must be coming on a spaceship really soon to help Mother ascend. Eventually, she passes away, and guess what? Shockingly, Robin Williams does not descend in an intergalactic spaceship to come collect the 103 pound body of Mother God. You don't say. And so the cult members just have her body. They don't know what to do with it. They thought Robin Williams was going to come. So they hang out with it for 12 days until the police finally show up. Anyways, this whole thing is a trip. You just gotta watch it to believe it. So they just hanging out with it, body for 12 days. Man, when people, when they deep into that, when they deep into their groups and their cult names, man, they believe anything and everything. That's just a prime example. Man, I wonder how many other crazy things out there that people believe. I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. Call out the edits, man. We are seeing him. Imagine being an animal so vile and wild. Not only did you traumatize a researcher, everything he learned about you had to be hidden from the public for almost 100 years. That's what, what? happened to George Murray Levick. He was on an expedition in 1911 when he ran into a group of Adelie penguins. It was the largest colony on Earth, and since nobody had ever spent a whole breeding cycle there, George decided to be first. Oh, he f***ed around, and he spent three months finding out. What he found out was Adelie penguins are 50 shades of foul play. No pun intended, maybe. He watched a male penguin's attempt to mate with literally anything, including other males, injured females, and even unsupervised penguin chicks. What? Now, but what really messed him up was watching a male score with a past tense, past expiration date female. Apparently, penguins aren't above self service because he also witnessed one male get it on with an extra curvy piece of snow drift. To completion, he was so appalled he referred to them as hooligan cocks. And remember, this was 1911, that had to be some kind of slur. George yeah. quickly realized that if male penguins understand consent, they could not care less about it because he reportedly watched one female that was too injured to walk try to crawl away only for two hooligans to catch up to her and demoralize both her and George. I don't even know why he did this because, like, what more do you have to prove? But at one point, he did an experiment where he took the frozen, decapitated head of a penguin and put it on a pile of snow just to just to see how low the flightless felons could go. The answer was low enough. George mm. put every messed up thing he learned in a manuscript, and the British Museum of Natural History decided history was exactly what his studies would be when they bolted it, until it was rediscovered almost 100 years later in 2012. All that trauma, and he didn't even live to see it get published. But the worst part, these are Delhi penguins. Yep, it all adds up in the end. He's the world. The thing that got to me is, man, he did all this research. He wrote it down, I guess, to try to tell everybody, but they just decided to vault it.
and they now got released, like when they decided we should learn those things, that makes you question no matter whatever what else they vaulted that they deemed that we're not ready to learn yet. A lot of information out there. Just something to think about. The smallest prisoner, you'll never guess the terrible things he's done. Part two. Caroline and saw five-year-old son stood in front of the oven, his face full of shock and confusion. He tried to explain, but his words were slurred, and he could only give bits and pieces. Caroline and her husband immediately realized that their son had inadvertently shut his sister in the oven and that he had turned on the oven's heat. Caroline rushed Whoa. to the oven and quickly opened the door. The heat from the oven hit her, and she saw the tiny figure. Her skin blackened by the heat already dying. She hurriedly grabbed out her daughter and rushed to the car with her husband, driving as fast as she could to the hospital along the way. Damn. Caroline and her husband's hearts hung in their throats. They kept praying that their daughter would pull through. However, their world completely collapsed. When the doctors told them that the child could not be saved, Due to the severity of her injuries, the incident left the Ashley family in deep grief. Where's when his mom died? Part one. In 2016, a mother pushed her son on a swing for two days straight, nonstop, until he passed away. What? It turns out that sadly she was mentally ill and was then sent to a mental institution. In 2018, a man named Keno Butler and his wife, Wendy Thompson, were drinking when they started having an argument. Wendy then attacked him with a knife and got him in the hand with it. But she didn't Ooh. stop there. She then decided to jump on top of him. Smothering him with over 300 pounds of body fat and sadly Whoa. suffocating him. Before I tell you the last one, your boyfriend or girlfriend falls off a cliff with 20 billion dollars. You can only save one. Who are you saving? Girlfriend, man, easy choice. Let me know down below. In 2021, Karina Smith had discovered that her own husband had been being very inappropriate with their children when they were younger. You won't believe this. She then filled a pot with boiling hot sugar water and dumped it on him while he was sleeping. He didn't survive that painful revenge. Most Scary Urban Legends, Part 6. This is Krasu. She's a Thailand legend. She's a female spirit who wanders the fields at night. Ooh. At first, you would just see her face. Until you look down, she has no body. And just her eternal organs. Her guts are usually covered with fresh red blood. Her face appears to look somewhat like a vampire's. She has very sharp teeth and sometimes has a blue halo around her head. Mm. She is always hungry for meat, whether that be animal meat or human meat. Before she goes hunting, she hides her headless body somewhere safe, and she needs to come back to it before sunrise. And then she becomes a normal person again for the day with no differences from anybody else. One of her origins was that she was a princess who was forced to marry a high-ranked Seminese member who killed her people in battle. But mm. she loved somebody else and was caught with them by the Seminese member. She was then sentenced to be burned alive. She then asked the witch for help, who summoned a spell on her immune to fire, but the spell worked too late, and everything was burned besides her internal organs and head. What do you guys think? The guys believe those urban legends, man? These are eight horrifying facts that will probably keep you up at night. Here when we go. Apollo 11 landed, it only had 20 seconds of remaining fuel. Four months ago, a deceased rapper by the name Gunyu had his corpse on stage while fans were partying around his body. The average okay. person wastes five months of their lives waiting for red lights to turn green. Cruise ships have morgues just in case someone, you know, during the trip. Mm. If you have red eyes after swimming, it's not from chlorine. It's from the chlorine mixing with other people's urine. The furthest part of the ocean from land is Point Nemo. If you get stuck there, you're not coming back. Sunburn are your cells dying to avoid being cancerous. Most laugh tracks and shows are people from the 50s, which means you're hearing the laughter of dead people. Yeah, there's a lot more, like for part 14. What he said about Point Nemo, man. Now I'm now I'm thinking about it. Was Nemo with the move? Is that based off that that point? You guys know, man. Our movies and media's now that I've been watching these videos with you guys, they're really based off of like some horrifying stories. That's something to keep in mind. And the thing about Guna, I didn't even believe it about that until I guess this video confirmed. It. I remember seeing it trending, but I I assumed it was fake. Why on stage though? Edit. We've been doing this, man. We can spot them out. Disturbing facts that will ruin your life. If you were to be pulled into a black hole, the point of gravity from your head to your toes is so powerfully different that the closer you get, the start to stretch and 
pull apart. Ooh. It's called a spaghettification. A body can swell to three times the normal size, especially if the person passes away in a bathtub. In the 1800s, photographing posed at dead bodies was a very normal practice. The smell of vomit actually comes from butric acid, as does the smell of Parmesan cheese. Mm. If you shine a flashlight or smartphone on a newborn sea turtle for too long, it will start crawling around in circles, known as the ring of death. It means that the turtle's eyesight has been permanently damaged due to mistaking your lights for the moon that guides it to sea. Mm. By doing this, you have doomed that sea turtle to death right after birth. The bacteria in gingivitis is contagious. Be careful who you kiss. Armadillos can carry leprosy and pass it onto humans just by being in proximity. When it comes to heart disease, sometimes the very first symptom is sudden death, meaning you could be perfectly healthy and drop dead because you had heart disease and did not know it. The wonder Damn. smell you get while cutting grass is actually a chemical distress signal. You're smelling the silent screams of your lawn. The outside of your eye prevents your immune system from ever knowing about the inside of your eye. If a puncture allows the two to meet, your immune system may attack and destroy your eye as the invader. Hit the plus sign if you want to learn more facts. This is Top one of the most you learn it. I've ever heard, and it ended up being true. But in Canada, there was this legend that one night a bunch of people saw a bright blue light in the sky, and the next day an entire village of people disappeared. Come it turns out that legend is rooted in something that really happened. This is coming from this week's episode. I have a whole series on urban legends that ended up being true, and it's a very scary listen. About to check so it out. In 1930, a fur trapper named Joe LaBelle was riding in the river in his canoe when he came to a village he had seen before. Except this time when he came upon it, it looked like everyone had left in a hurry. Food was still cooking, and a bunch of dogs were barking and super hungry as if they had been left behind. Mm. But the strangest part of all of this was in the middle of the community, there was a grave that had been disturbed. And that reminded the fur trapper of a very scary story he had heard. The legend of the torn rack, which was this demon that supposedly stalked the area. So he starts looking for someone who might know what happened to these people. They were a nomadic people. It didn't make any sense that they would have left all of their stuff behind. Okay. And that's when he finds a man in a hospital who was potentially part of the village. The man is so freaked out. He won't say anything at first, but eventually Joe gets him to talk, and he recognizes one word that the man says. Tornrak, the name of the evil deity that was potentially in the area. Oh. The police basically don't believe any of this, but they do acknowledge that before the disappearance, they did see blue lights in the sky that no one has been able to figure out what they were. I get more into the theories of what may have happened in this episode, and I also talk a little bit more about other urban legends that ended up being true. Top Could 5 true. legends that turned out to be real. Chuck E. Cheese animatronics move on their own. No Chuck E. Way. Cheese has been long rumored to be haunted by animatronic figures that move on their own, even when the power is off. These mm. tales were often dismissed as mere urban legends meant to spook children. However, in 2019, a former employee's testimony brought an eerie truth to light. Okay. The employee recounted how during after-hour maintenance, the animatronics would occasionally shift positions or emit sounds despite being turned down. This phenomenon was actually captured on video showing an animatronic character moving its eyes and mouth when the restaurant was closed. The unsettling footage showed the animatronic's eyes flickering to life and their mouths moving silently. One night, the employee was cleaning when they noticed an animatronic had shifted slightly from its usual position. At first, they thought it was just a trick of the light or a mistake, but then the animatronic's eyes glowed eerily in the darkened room. A soft mechanical whirring sound filled the air and its mouth began to move as if it was speaking. Desperate Whoa. to prove they weren't imagining things, the employees set up a camera the next night. The footage showed the animatronics moving on their own, their eyes darting around and their mouths opening and closing in the darkness. The video spread among the staff, many of whom had had their own unsettling experiences. Some reported Ooh. hearing faint childlike laughter when the restaurant was empty, while others felt cold spots in the sensation of being watched. If you have the guts, follow for the next urban legend. Creepy facts Damn. about your body you're gonna wish you didn't know. When you go down a drop on a roller coaster and you suddenly feel your stomach drop, it's not just you feeling nervous. What you're feeling are your organs actually moving. Mm. Have you ever noticed that an older person in your life seems to have very long, large ears? That's because your ears will never stop growing. Across your lifetime, you will spend an average of an entire year just sitting on a toilet. When we see brains outside of the human body, they usually look pretty solid. But your brain, while inside your skull while you're alive, is actually very soft. It's like like melted butter soft. What the hell? They confirmed that back to back, so I'm guessing that's a part about our brains being like butters too, so I guess at the end it just becomes hard. I don't know, something I guess happens to make it looks like changes it into something else after 
that's crazy, man. Especially when I'm about the with the um Chuck E. Cheese um animatronics. That sounds really like you guys know what that sounds like. Five Nights at Freddy's. I wonder if that's based off of that. But they said they was here like children laughter, cold spots, animatronics moving. They set up a webcam too. I wish we had that footage, man. I'm probably gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dive deep, man, to try to find that footage to check it out. Yeah, like I said, everything, man, media's games, TV shows, bro, it's all based off of something, a true story. It comes from somewhere. Man. If you guys stay with me to the end of the video, your true seeker seeking the truth. I really appreciate the support. Like I said, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, man, so we can take off in this algorithm and continue to grow. Guys can catch you in the next one, man. Doing daily uploads for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, man. I know I do. Guys can catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing all right, man. If you guys are brand new to the channel, man, and if you guys don't know what we do, we break down scary and creepy videos on the net, on the web, man, from YouTube videos to TikTok videos, IG videos, Facebook, anything weird, usual, and unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. Just want to thank you guys, man, who's been tapping into the channel, supporting um, I've been seeing you guys' feedback, man. On the last video, you guys said you could kind of, kind of hear my scare, my chair squeaking. So as you guys can see, I replaced it, got a new chair. So no more of that squeaking noises, man. <sighs> Find this video for you guys today, seekers. Let's do what we do best: seek the truth. His brother, along with Tiffany, didn't find out the truth for 15 years. Those photos tell us, tell the truth. It was taken by a family who caught him in their home in 1974, but he escaped shortly afterwards. What? So in 1974, the Johnson family in Cincinnati noticed a couple weird things happening in their home. The 14-year-old daughter, Claire, would complain about seeing glowing eyes outside of her window at night. Mm -hmm. And then one night, the youngest son, Timmy, was laying in bed in the dark when he felt the family dog jump up onto his bed. But when he went to go pet it, it was not the dog. It was the crawler, who police still believe was responsible for the disappearance of four other boys in the area. Some believe that he was an escaped convict, while others actually believe that he was the victim of human experiments happening in the area that may have been conducted by the family's dad. Claire snapped this photo of him before he escaped, but he was never found since. It sure looks like a human experiment. That's for sure. This what do you guys think? Man, the man guilty of killing eight people. Seven of those people were her family members, and one was a random stranger just minding his own business. For a total of eight people dead in three separate locations. Three? This happened in Joliet, Illinois. They thought all of these shootings were random at first, but one common thing was his red Toyota Camry with the same license plate at every single scene of the crime. Targeted? On Monday, officers announced that a manhunt was launched for Romeo Nance. They also put out a warning that he is armed and dangerous. However, later that night, the news definitely changed when they found this information out. Mm. Nance was spotted in Texas, over 1,200 miles away from Illinois. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was also charged with an aggravated discharge of a deadly weapon against a woman a few years ago also. But he got out on bond in 2023. Many residents in the area were frightened by this. They all also thought this was a random string of crimes as well. Very unfortunate story. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. To kill eight people, mainly family members, is just absurd. Very unfortunate loss of life. And reminder, these videos are for informational purposes only. Blood curdling facts what was that the you purpose? never knew. Part 22. In the 18th century, you could bring your cat or dog to the London Zoo and actually pay your admission by feeding it to the lions. What? Bus seats are specifically designed so you can't tell how dirty they really are. Mm. When an octopus reproduces, it removes its penis and throws it at the female so she can impregnate herself and then he grows back another one. Oysters are actually alive when they're served. They don't die until you eat them. Mm. In Australia, there's a plant called the Gibby Gibby which has such a severe sting that when horses brush up against it, they actually throw themselves off a cliff because they would rather die than experience the pain. Live chat support agents can see what you type before they send it so they can reply quicker. What the? Spider rain, yes, you heard me right, is a real and naturally occurring phenomenon. Hmm. What creeped you out the most? Oh, my God.
We saw that, right? We all saw that secret. There's something that flashed, but they they ain't see. You always gotta double check your work, man. Worst accidents that ever happened on a horror film set. Because I don't really see this moment talked about much. So this accident happened on the set of The Exorcist, mm -hmm. which is already a movie that plenty of people think was cursed. Hence why I did a whole episode about it. But in really? the movie, Linda Blair plays this little girl named Reagan who was possessed by a demon. And the way that the film shows you that she's possessed are by these contraptions that they built for her. This oh. is one that makes her levitate, but there was also this one that made her thrash around. To use this device, Linda had to be sewn into a plank, that way her back was supported while it was thrashing around. Mm. And mind you, the people controlling this device were adult men, and Linda was a child. So during one take, Linda actually became untethered from this device, meaning that her back what? was no longer supported. And you can see it in this take, but watch as she starts crying after the director calls cut. That's because Linda had just broken her spine. Damn. The director and the other adults in the room all thought that she was acting up a storm when in fact her screams and cries were from her spine being fractured. Anyways, that's only one of the many wild things that happened on this set, so check out the episode for more. This that's some bad energy on, on that movie. His father. This is six-year-old Corey Micholo from New Jersey. On March 20th of 2021, Corey and his father, Christopher Greger, were seen entering the Atlantic Heights Clubhouse Fitness Center. Mm. Corey was placed on a treadmill and began running. Footage from the clubhouse captured Christopher walking up to the treadmill, increasing the speed and raising the incline. Why? These sudden changes were too much for Corey's legs, which caused him to fall down multiple times and slide off of the treadmill. Christopher is then seen lifting Corey up from the ground and tossing him back onto the treadmill. This caused Corey's legs to fold backwards, and then Christopher is seen clamping his teeth onto Corey's head. On April 1st, after Corey had so many bruises on his body, his mom urged his father to take him to a pediatric appointment. And at this appointment, Corey revealed that his father made him get on that treadmill because he was too fat. The next day after Corey woke up from a nap, he felt nauseated, he was slurring his words, and he was stumbling. Mm. That is when Christopher took Corey to the hospital. Corey's injuries were so severe he had suffered a seizure during his CT scan. That day, just before 5 p.m., Corey was pronounced dead. An autopsy was done and it revealed that the reason why Corey had died was because of blunt force injuries. This included acute inflammation and sepsis. Christopher was initially charged with child neglect after the treadmill video came to light. However, in September of 2021, a forensic pathologist had determined that Corey's death was a homicide. This was due to chronic child abuse, blunt force injuries to his chest and abdomen, and a laceration to his heart. On March 9, 2022, Christopher was arrested on murder charges connected to Corey's death. He turned down a 30-year plea deal and now faces life in prison if convicted. Here are a few of the worst semi-canophobia images I've ever seen. Okay. Part 3. This is apparently real. I don't know where it is. Apparently it's in Italy. Or it looks like it's in Italy. I might be mm. really making that up. But here's it from another angle. Could you imagine swimming in a boat and seeing that? I don't know how deep it is underwater. I don't know if it's held up by pipes. I don't know if it's held up by scaffolding. I don't know if it's just the whole arm. I don't know if it's a whole sculpture. Terrifying. It is. I wonder how deep in water that that is, like what she said. The same hands out of nowhere. That would freak anybody out. This very strange video is circling the internet. It was supposed to be this very strange phenomenon happening in the middle of the ocean. A couple of people inside of a boat captured it on camera. I'm going to show you guys the entire video. Okay. Some people are relating this to underwater volcanoes. But I'm not exactly sure if this is the case. I'm going to show you guys the video. You tell me what you think is going on here. Check this out. Hmm. What are we seeing? What the hell is that? Pay attention, look at the size of this thing. That's what we're examining. Is that really an underwater volcano? It's just sprouting up? Why this ain't making national news or something? Look at this over here. Mmm. 
That's concerning. What's going on here, guys? What is your take? What do you guys think? Down below. Let's talk about this picture. This is why if I ever have kids, I'll never let them use the bathroom alone. A seven-year-old girl and her mom were headed to Target, and she was getting some clothes for school. Okay. Her mom also wanted to grab some snacks for movie night. So while her mom went to go grab popcorn and other snacks, she told her daughter to go pick out clothes for school. When her daughter finally finished and picked out the clothes, she went up to her mom and said something strange happened. A sad pale lady had came up to her, telling her that she wished she could have her own daughter that looked just like her. The mom who thought the daughter was just joking around laughed it off and said let's go while heading to the register the daughter shook her mom and said that's the lady who told me she wanted a daughter just like me pointing at a mannequin the mom laughed thinking the daughter was still being silly you know how kids like have wild imaginations yeah. always playing around while at the register the daughter had to go to the bathroom so the mom told her to hurry up it was only a couple hours down by the way while in the bathroom the daughter texted the mom saying the pale ladies in here who wanted a daughter the mom trying to get in a rush back home to her other kids said hurry up we have to go stop playing around 10 minutes later and the daughter never came out the mother who was waiting outside the bathroom at this time rushes in the bathroom to see what the heck is going on the daughter was nowhere to be found she even checked the stars to see if her daughter was hiding standing on a toilet or something on one of the stalls she found her daughter's cell phone on the floor mm. by the way if you made it this far in the video comment down below your favorite fruit mine is mangoes when she checked her phone this was the last image found in it. police still to this day have no explanation on what happened to that little girl did you guys know that the hell happened exist? so this tall drink of water is a fisherman off the coast of massachusetts and on his travels, he likes to document the things that he sees out in the ocean. All right. What he catches this night is irrefutable evidence of the existence of mermaids. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's not irrefutable evidence. It's just very strong evidence of the existence of mermaids. Check it out. It's keeping up a mile. We definitely see some swimming alongside him in the water. What did you see? Whoa. On each side of the boat? What are those trails? What's something swimming fast when I meet that water? Something mm -hmm. swimming real fast when I meet that water. I hear. Is that the siren song they sing? What is that noise? Where are you? Hmm. This is crazy. I heard it. I heard it. We hear that. of all time part four the grinch has a well-known backstory about hating christmas hmm. however eventually in the movie his heart grows three sizes and he loves christmas once again but this story may continue longer than we think Ooh. it is clear that the grinch isn't exactly right in the head but during one of the grinch's wacky stunts he could have gotten a head injury. Hmm. This injury would later take a toll on him as he grew old and caused him to lose his memory. After him and his dog died, they were given a new life in a realm called Halloween Town where they now lived as Jack Skellington in Zero. He later reunites with his love for Christmas, just like he had when he was alive. Both eventually wear a Santa suit, both deliver presents, and both have a dog companion. Hmm. It may be possible that how the Grinch stole Christmas and the Nightmare Before Christmas are tied together. Are they connected? I never even thought about it like that before. Interesting theory. We definitely gonna have to check that out, man. They have some similarities. Can't lie. That's an edit.
call a legacy. This pastor is being accused of unaliving his own wife. This case is currently ongoing, but it's been so highly suggested, so this is what we know so far. On okay. April 28th, Pastor John Paul Miller made the shocking announcement at the end of his church service that his wife, Micah, had unalived herself. He then asked everyone to leave quietly and not discuss his wife's death. Hmm. Micah's family and friends do not believe in this cause of death and have taken the social media with the hashtag justice for Micah. John Paul also wrote Micah's obituary where he talked mostly about himself, not even Micah who was the one that passed away. Very he weird. also painted their marriage as like a perfect relationship, which is really odd in considering that Micah filed for divorce and a restraining order against her husband only days before her passing. In the weeks prior to Micah's passing, she was sharing on Facebook about abusive relationships and really just hinting that something wasn't right. A friend of Micah's has come out and confirmed that Micah told her that there was abuse in the marriage and also that church funds were being used for things not church related. And since, more friends and family of Micah have come out with similar accounts. Also been some speculation that John Paul was having an affair, a years long affair with this woman that he's been seen in the days before and the days after Micah's death. That woman's husband also passed away in a really suspicious way, but that's just online speculation for right now. The investigation is currently ongoing, so hopefully we have answers really, really soon. But in the meantime, make sure to leave all your thoughts, theories, questions, and case suggestions in the comments for me. She went on Instagram some. Live and did something so evil Bad that case. by the end of it, he took his own life. This is the worst thing an influencer has ever done, and I'm giving you the whole story. Hang on. 100,000 people tuned in to watch trans beauty influencer Sophia Taluni go live. Then she invited one of her fans to join and asked mm -hmm. if he was gay. And in Morocco, being gay is very dangerous. He said no. Then she showed screenshots of him on Grindr, a dating app for gay men. She said if he doesn't recognize himself, she would show more revealing pictures. So he said he was gay and quit the live. Then she told everyone on the live to download Grindr and look for their sons and husbands. And men began disappearing. They were beaten up by their families and at least two people, including this young man, took their own life. But isn't Sophia trans? Her family rejected her and she wants others to experience it too. Instagram deleted her account, but she was never punished in any other way. That's a messed up story. Imagine living with a dead body for five months. It was March 2011 in Penwortham in Lancashire. Police received a very strange anonymous tip-off which led them to a local house in the area. Mm. There they discovered 54-year-old former lorry driver Guy Blackburn lying deceased in a bed. The man was taken away from the property to undergo a post-mortem. It was clear, however, that he'd been dead for a very long period of time. Mm. Now, Guy had been living at the property for a long time, but his health had recently been worsening. He became so unwell that he was unable to leave the property at all. Neighbours got worried about Guy after they hadn't seen him in a few months. Guy was living with his son, 28-year-old Christopher. Now, Christopher was actually a dad to a 10-year-old daughter of his own. Hmm. Christopher had told his daughter that her granddad was simply asleep. Neighbours would ask Christopher how his dad was, to which he replied, yeah, he's fine. However, they began to get suspicious. The post-mortem came back and confirmed that Guy had actually passed away due to heavy drinking and heavy smoking. What the He'd been deceased since around November 2010. Christopher admitted to living in the house with his dad's dead body. He said he did this in order to claim benefits. He claimed income support and was withdrawing money out of his dead dad's bank account. By the time he was caught, he had claimed nearly £2,000. He admitted to preventing the lawful burial of his dad and stealing money, and he was jailed for three years. Why are more people Just talking for money, about man. the huge updates Evil. in the Lakin Riley case? Y'all, check this out. Clark County Sheriff's Office released the mugshot of this guy, Jose Antonio Ibarra. He's a 26-year-old guy that's being held on charges in the red room of this girl right here, 22-year-old Lakin Riley. And in case you don't know, she was a nursing student in uh, Georgia, and her body was actually discovered in like a forested area behind Lake Herrick. One of the, the craziest fuck? parts about this case, too, is that there appears to be no motive. And Jose here apparently didn't even know Lakin at all, which is really scary because investigators are saying that it looks like it was just a crime of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't stop there. Apparently, Jose isn't a U.S. citizen, and he never even attended the University of Georgia. What and if you thought I was done there, you'd still be mistaken, because apparently his brother here, Diego, uh, was arrested for having a fake green card. 
Diego here says he is too afraid to return to Venezuela, so the Department of Justice is actually keeping him in state custody, and he's awaiting an asylum hearing. Y'all, this case is crazy as hell. Leave a like, follow if you like true crime, and leave some comments. Y'all, let me know what you think about this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Some twists and turns, man. What are you doing, Dad? Dad, what are you doing? So just like the caption says, that girl gets locked in the basement by her father. That father does so many sick and twisted things to his daughter that you would never believe that this was actually based on a true story. Come again? That movie is called A Girl in the Basement and it's available right now at mylifetime.com slash watch so go ahead and watch it. It's so disturbing, but it's such a great movie that you need to watch it. Thank you, Lifetime, for sponsoring this video. You guys gonna check that out? Those crime movies, man. All this media and stuff we're watching that based on true stories, we just gotta open our eyes to it. And pay attention. This woman laid on a couch for 12 years until she was basically melted to it. So have you ever heard of Lacey Fletcher? Lacey's parents were Sheila and Clay Fletcher. They moved to Slaughter, Louisiana about 28 years ago. As soon as they moved to Louisiana, Lacey became involved in her school. She was making friends with all the neighbor kids. She liked to go outside and play. She even joined the volleyball team and seemed like the typical teenager. Okay. Lacey was described by her peers as highly intelligent, but a little bit immature for her age. Hmm. Lacey it really enjoyed things that her peers thought of as childish. But she was still very smart and very outgoing but not much else is known about Lacey. At the age of 14, Lacey's parents decided to homeschool her, and that's when she just kind of disappeared from the public. Her friends from school and the neighbor kids just stopped seeing her come out as much as she used to. And it kind of seemed like Sheila and Clay were the reason that Lacey was being so isolated. They were the reason hmm? that she no longer went out into public. She was able to have a birthday party when she turned 18 years old, and she invited all of her school friends and just friends to come watch Disney movies, but at this point, these kids were 18 years old. They didn't want to sit around and watch Disney movies with her. The last time Lacey was seen in public was by her neighbor in 2007. Damn. This neighbor thought that Lacey looked very thin, but he just figured that she was exercising because she was using those weights to that you can around your ankles to walk around hmm. and then Lacey is not ever seen again in public in 2017 the neighbor did ask about Lacey figuring that she had either gotten married or moved on gone to college or done something else with her life but Clay told him that Lacey was still there she was still at home but the neighbor didn't press further. He didn't question why he didn't see her. He just kind of let things be. Okay. Then on January 3rd of 2022, at about 2 in the morning, there is a 911 call received from Sheila. Sheila says that her daughter has stopped breathing. When emergency services arrived, they realized that there was something very wrong with the situation. Lacey was laying on the couch and it almost seemed like she had melted to it. Mm. She had all kinds of sores that had been opened all the way down to the bone. Her hair was knotted up and there were maggots crawling around in it. And emergency services could tell that Lacey had been laying there for a very, very long time. Mm. There were feces and there was urine all over the couch. Things humans were never meant to see. The hell were they doing her, man? Man transforms into real werewolf. We believe in werewolves, or, or is this just gonna be a, a edit? I think this would be all over the internet or if we've seen a real werewolf if this turns out to be legit okay you we we, we know this is Ed, right
Every single time he changes, it's like we can't see his face though. That's it. A high freaking quality edit. His name is Josh Rushling? Yeah, that's the edit. No, what ain't? No human responses were elicited from the subject. However, he remained mostly calm throughout the night, growling only when approached. He seemed more afraid of us than we were of him. This is Funky Town, one of hmm. the worst cartel execution videos explained. Okay, before I begin, this is a massive trigger warning. The video begins in some sort of room and there is music playing. The first song that plays is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, and the camera pans to the victim tied on the floor with some plastic wire, but the torture already began before the video starts. Mm. Because the victim looks like he already went through complete brutality. His hands have already been cut off, and his face has been completely flayed, which means Ooh. skinned. There is no skin on the victim's face at all, and his eyes have been gouged out. And there's an insane amount of blood on the floor. But the most messed up part is about this is that the victim is hooked up to some sort of IV and the IV is pumping him with drugs to keep him alive mm. and aware, making sure he felt everything happening to him. At the start of the video, they try and slit his throat with a sickle and press it against his jaw. But when the victim begins to scream, they shove a box cutter in his mouth to shut him up. Ooh. His screams are absolutely gut turning. They kept going from screaming the gurgling from screaming the gurgling. And as the video progresses, they take the box cutter and slit his throat about 40 times. And keep in mind, the victim is still alive and aware mm. of everything because of the drugs they are giving him to keep him alive. Also, the killers are mocking and laughing at the victim the entire time. They continue to try and slit his throat with the box cutter and were going at his neck numerous times. All while the song Funky Town was playing in the background, hence the name of the video. The killers kept having to physically restrain the victim, meaning there was still a lot of life left in him. And the amount of pain he had to be in is completely unimaginable. At one point in the video, a man had his foot on his chest, holding him down. And another time, they had shoved a pole in his mouth, holding him in place. But the worst part about the video is towards the end where the victim manages to loosen his arms from the restraints and immediately tries to touch his face. But remember, the victim has no face at all, no hands, and no eyes. But instinctively, the victim still tries to touch his face. It's absolutely horrifying, and the video then concludes. Keep in mind, the victim was still alive when the video ended, so who knows what else they did to him before he died. Because they were literally keeping him alive just to torture him. Mm. This victim went through so much pain and torment, and you can make an argument that nobody has ever been tortured as bad as this guy ever. I explain this based off pure memory from the first time I saw the video, because I won't dare watch it again because it's that gruesome. Everybody who saw videos like this always say Funky Town is the worst of the worst. Mm. And I honestly think that might be true, so please don't watch it and please don't search it up. Easy video, man. A funky town video he's talking about saying he only watched it once because he wouldn't dare watch it again. And that's all he said. That was a pure memory seekers. How much of how much it was freaking embedded into his mind. He had to take his word for it. It's crazy. You guys, that's it, man, for this video for you guys today, man. If you guys stay with me to the end of the video, you're a true seeker, seeking the truth. I greatly appreciate the support, man. Like I said, guys, make sure to follow me on all my social medias, man, so we can stay connected. We can grow the seekers, grow these communities um, together. So links are in the description down below. Make sure you guys check it out. We're grinding, man. Um, we're going to be uploading every single day, man. That's what I've been doing. And I plan to continue to um, do just that. You guys going to catch in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace seekers.
What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing all right, man. If you guys are brand new to the channel, you guys don't know what we do. We break down scary and creepy videos on the net, on the web, man. From YouTube videos to TikTok videos, IG videos, Facebook, man. If you guys know the drill, anything weird, usual, and unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. Just want to thank you, the supporters, man, who's tapping in with us, man. I'm seeing the growth. Who's subscribing, hitting that post notification bell, man, liking the videos. You follow me on my social medias, man. Like I said, each and every video, you guys help support. I see it. It pushes us in the algorithm, man. We can find more fellow seekers. Find this video for you guys today. Let's do what we do best. Let's seek the truth. Do you haven't heard any crazy stories from Fresno? Prepare for this one. Okay. video evidence. Back in the late 90s slash early 2000s, weird sightings of a strange cryptid have been seen around Fresno, California. Ooh. However, in 2007, a surveillance video caught these strange creatures on camera with really long legs and small heads. No. I'm going to be inserting the video in like two seconds, so you have been warned. The show Fact or Fake actually did an episode on these creatures to see if they were real or not. Mm. These professional paranormal investigators could find no evidence that this was faked in any sort of way. They deem these creatures to be completely unexplainable, and some people even call them the protectors of the forest. Whoa. What makes these creatures super eerie is the fact that we don't even know what they stem from, what their origin story is, where they came from, what they are, why they exist. But they do continue to pop up around this area, so if somebody was faking this, they would have to be really persistent. Don't forget to comment your hometown so you can be featured in the next Urban Legends video. I just realized maybe like I said every hometown has an urban legend of Fresno crawlers, you know, different things for different states. Man, that's creepy. That's eerie, man. Like I said, they didn't know why they exist, why they're there. Like I said, they got the um they said they had a team behind it and they couldn't prove if it was like fake or not, so should we dive deeper into that one man? Fresno crawlers? I'll have to keep that on the list, man. We, we we don't go to Fresno no more, bro. Or we drop it straight through it. This is why you need to watch out for a man with orange eyes. Orange eyes is actually a cryptid that you can find in Ohio. It's mm. reported to be over 11 feet tall and 1,000 pounds. It is said that Orange Eyes lives under a Cleveland cemetery, and the first time he was ever seen was on March 28th of 1959. On that day, he attacked two teenagers that were hanging out at Lover's Lane. They claimed he was large and hairy and had these bright orange eyes. Ooh. He also had this matted black hair and a strange odor. He was last spotted in 1991 when he appeared to two fishermen in Mill Creek. And afterwards, he apparently ran into a nearby woods and he was never seen again. Some people believe he's actually an alien, but to this day, he still remains a mystery. Orange eyes, man. We believe that? He said in 1959, that was a long time ago. You don't know if people making up stories or not. Maybe say he's attacking lovers. At the, at the Lover's Lake. You know, these cases, um, seekers, man, like I said, sometimes we gotta dive deep into them, man. Some are facts, some are cap. But we keep our mind open. Tap in with us. You will learn some things. Urban Legends Part 3. The Japanese Legend of Hanako-san. It is about a spirit of a young girl named Hanako-san who haunts school bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Children may challenge other classmates to summon this spirit. Her physical appearance varies, but she's often described as having a bob and wearing a red dress. Her origins also vary. Some sources say she was a child who was murdered in the school bathroom by a stranger. Mm -hmm. Other sources say she was a girl who committed suicide in her school bathroom. So how do you summon this spirit? It is said that individuals must enter a girl's bathroom, knock three times on the third stall, and ask if she is present. If she is there, she will reply with yes, I am. The individual may then witness the appearance of a bloody hand. This hand may call the individual into the toilet, and this may lead to hell. Or the individual may be eaten by a three-headed lizard. Mm. We don't summon no demons around here. People do that. Today we're it. talking about the white strip. During the 1980s, this was a popular legend in Japan, and it scared a lot of children into not wanting to get their ears pierced. Mm. So a young girl wanted to get her ears pierced, but her parents were against it because they thought she was too young. After a lot of begging, her parents finally agreed to let her. They gave her money and told her to go to the jewelry store at the mall to get them pierced. But instead, she decided to keep the money and do it herself. With the help of her best friend, they heated a needle and did the piercings on their own. 
It was painful, but she was happy she got them pierced. However, sometime after, her ears got irritated and swollen, specifically her left ear. Damn. She went to the restroom to take a closer look and noticed something sticking out. It was a white string sticking out of her earlobe. She began to pull on it and realized it had no end. Finally, she used a pair of scissors to cut the string. Then everything went black. She couldn't see and she was rushed to the ER. She was examined and that's when the doctor said, I'm sorry, you'll be blind for the rest of your life. That wasn't a white string, that was an optic nerve. What? Really a damn optic nerve? How'd that turn? That was a chilling ending. They said it was used to scare people on the kids in Japan, but pulling on a white thing and it was an optic nerve the whole time? She went blunt? We're going to have to check that one out. The okay, urban no legend idea. of the popular movie Totoro by Ghibli Studios. Mm. People say that Totoro is actually a Shinigami, which is the god of death. And if you can see the god of death, it means you're either dead or about to be dead, which is why only a few people in the movie can see Totoro. So in the movie, when Mei goes missing and a sandal is found, Mei actually drowned. Mei's sister Satsuki can't accept the fact that Mei is dead, so she looks for Totoro and opens death's door, which mm. eventually leads her to Mei. So when she does this, she basically gives up her life. Together, they visit their mother in the hospital. And so the reason why that their mother can see them is because she's also ill and close to death. Also, take note that Mei and Setsuki both don't have shadows at the end of the movie, and only dead people don't have shadows. A lot of people say that this movie is based off of the Sayama incident in 1963. Ghibli confirmed this to be false, but it's still a really popular urban legend. Crazy. Crazy as movie plot. Texas, the first ever documented black eyed kid encounter in 1996. Oh. Children are creepy in any context, true. So any urban legend including black eyed children is bound to turn some heads. In the late 90s, a journalist named Brian Bethel was working in his town of Abilene, Texas when he encountered something that he'll remember until his last day. He was parked outside a movie theater when two children knocked on his window. For reasons he couldn't understand, he was completely gripped with fear. He mm. rolled on the window and the kids asked for a right back to their house so they can get cash for the movie. His fear made him hesitate, but the kids were persistent. They kept saying weird things like they weren't armed or anything. Once Bethel looked back at the kids, he was terrified to see their eyes had turned pitch black. They started screaming at him that they could only come in the car if he invited them in. And he quickly <clears throat> drove away. Smart. As a journalist, he spread the word and was surprised when other people wrote back saying they had experienced something similar. No thanks. Black eyed kids? We driving away, seekers. Today we're talking about the Mickey Mouse Lost episode. The episode is from 1929. And before Ooh. I start, I just want to give a warning that the way I'm going to be describing it is kind of graphic. So it's called Strolling in Town. It starts off with Mickey walking for a while and then he suddenly sees a man. It gets kind of dark really fast. He starts to take the man's eyes out and gets covered in blood but just walks off. He then mm -hmm. sees Minnie and takes her to go see the man. Minnie begins to laugh and then notices the man's bloody eyes. Minnie then asks Mickey why he did this. Mickey then holding the bloody eyeball says, I thought it was a toy. The man laying there begins to laugh. Mickey then pulls out a knife and a gun and tries to kill the man. He shoots the man and stabs him in the arms and in his head. The man begins to scream and Mickey yells at him to shut up. The man is covered in blood. The camera zooms into Mickey as he says, go and die. The man whispers, I hate you, then slowly dies. Mickey then throws the weapons at the man and leaves. An ambulance shows up. Minnie then asks Mickey if he wants to go to her house. He agrees and then the episode ends. The last episode, we definitely have to search that up so you can confirm Urban legends that. from every state. The Hatchet House in Portal, Nebraska. Legend says that in the early 1900s, a school teacher went mad and decapitated all of her students and placed their severed heads on each of their desks. She then removed each one of their hearts and threw them off a bridge into a nearby river. The locals call it Heartbeat Bridge. As you walk across the shuddering boards, it sounds like little tiny heartbeats. What state is next? That's, like, oh, that's what I see. You know that idea, man, of teachers or something getting weapons and stuff that's why i was like you got to be careful with that because if a teacher snaps then the students are in trouble and we just heard that dark ass case heartbeat bridge man damn imagine walking over that bridge and on the like the history of it the creepiest urban legends from around the world part three vietnam the bloodthirsty grandma next door it's said that in a rural village, a couple noticed that the meat they hung outside was going missing at night. Mm. So they decided to stay up late, and what they saw was the sick elderly woman from next door leap over their fence and begin devouring the meat Damn. with a demonic look on her face. A few days later, the couple went out of town, leaving their child with a babysitter. But upon their return, they heard screams coming from inside the house. When they ran in, they saw the old woman eating 
your child. What the hell? The real story. This world. Day. So the story starts off with a mom and a daughter. The daughter gets diagnosed with oral cancer. The mom does anything in order for the daughter to get cured. But through hospital bills and treatment, the daughter only seems to be getting worse. Mm. Desperate, the mom starts turning to satanic rituals. She ends up making a deal with the devil. The deal was that if the devil cured her daughter, the mom would then have to make a cartoon character that kids all over the world would fall in love with, subconsciously letting the devil into their lives. So last week I Whoa. talked about the urban legend of the black-eyed children, but today we're talking about the far creepier white-eyed children. Mm. Now these creatures have a similar appearance to the black-eyed children. They're very skinny, pale-looking children, but instead of their eyes being totally black, their eyes are totally white. The black-eyed children you have to invite into your home, but the white-eyed children appear there on their own. These creatures actually possess the ability to control your mind. One theory is that you actually do let them in without even thinking about it because they control your mind and make you open the door. Once these kids are in your house, they're usually standing very still in a corner or against a wall just staring at you. Mm. And they can actually communicate with you through their minds. And they usually tell you that somebody you know is about to die and then they disappear into thin air. Some people think these children are angels, others think they're demons, and some think that they're aliens. But all of their predictions come true. We got the white eyed kids, man. We got the black eyed. What is next? Orange, blue, man. It's about to be a whole, the whole freaking color spectrum. Like, what the hell? These. These theories, man. Whatever they call them, we're gonna, we gonna have to check them out, man. I've seen some like cases of the black eyed kids, but this is my first time hearing white eyed kids. And uh, so they're tele they have telepathy. I don't know if we believe that one. Hey man, this world, you never know. The Banshee is a female spirit in Irish folklore whose bone chilling scream is said to be an omen of death. If you hear her shrieks, it is said that a member of your family will pass away soon. Some people believe that each family actually has a Banshee of their own that watches over them. Some stories say that instead of appearing as an omen of death, they appear to celebrate someone's death. They often appear as a woman dressed in a gray or white cloak with reddened eyes from constantly weeping. Can relate. The Banshee is a tale I'm quite familiar with, and I always imagine them to be more of a nervous creature rather than a vicious one. Their job is basically to let people know that their time is up, so I always imagine them not being too fond of the fact that they're constantly warning people that someone they love is going to die soon, so that's why I depicted the Banshee the way that I did. Banshee. I just realized, but she's talking about the Banshee. You know, there's a comic book character um, called the Ban. I call the Banshee in DC Comics. I'm, I don't know if they have one tomorrow, but there's like literally yeah, one in DC Comics called the Banshee. And what she was when she described it, I think that's her like her freaking her origins of how she get her powers and stuff like that. I'm telling like this pieces of media and stuff that we've seen. <laughs> it's placed in our faces, man. We just don't know. Like they all comes from. I guess that, that dark backstory, the folklore and stuff like that. There's always truth to them. And they adapted and made money off that. What does that tell you? You guys, you guys made it with me to the end, man. You're a true seeker, seeking the truth. I really appreciate the support, man. Like I said, guys, we did daily uploads for um last month, man. First month of um first day of June, so I could put, continue to do these daily uploads for you guys, man. If you guys like them, to let me know, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification, man. Hit that like button, man. Also, man, to let me know that you guys like these daily uploads. Follow me on my um, social medias as well so we can always stay connected and we can um, grow the secrets together. Guys, I'm catching the next one, man. I'm out. Peace, YouTube.